Hey guys, good evening. Uh, welcome to One Minute CM again. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Sai Kostov with us. Uh, it's an honor to have you here, sir. And uh, he's, he's a really special guest for me. One of the reasons I love him is, uh, you know, all the pictures of his has got that same smile, happiness, and uh, <laughs> that itself is a signature for uh, you know his being he being an happiness coach. A uh, quick introduction about him. Uh, you would have seen that uh, in the uh, link I've shared today. He's an uh, international graphic designer. He's a happiness coach. He's an author. He's uh, a motivational speaker uh, because he is one person who has never given up. He's an entrepreneur. He's also a world record holder. Uh, he's our, uh, you would have seen a lot of wheelchair warriors. There's, there's a movie. Uh, Ubri and you know there are other movies which have come up as an example for wheelchair warrior. And uh, Sai is our wheelchair warrior who is around us. I mean, we might have read uh, many stories in the books, but he's just around us. And he's also a global ambassador for family peace. That's what he drives. And he's a founder for uh, Happiness Unlimited. So Sai uh, actually has, uh, you know, he's having this rare brittle bone uh, disease. Uh, and he's actually going through 50 plus fractures and you know uh, he uh, has challenges where 90% of his particular body is uh, not supporting him in what he wants to do but he's never given up he is the person who feels that that will not limit him and uh, he can still carry on and do all he wants to do as his passion so we have one person here with so much of passion but you know more than me talking about uh, him uh, I would request uh, Dr. Sai, can, can you talk about yourself and, you know, tell us, tell our new friends. We have new friends who, I mean, this entire program is about making new friends um, during this lockdown process and, you know, socializing. So, please, aap Thank you, Ravi. That was a overwhelming introduction. He keep on saying a lot about me. Uh, but yeah, I'm so happy to be here in one minute CM uh, with Ravi especially. And uh, welcome to all the audience, all the listener and who are watching me today live. I'm so happy to be presenting myself here as a wheelchair warrior. Uh, the journey behind wheelchair warrior was uh, very tough. I should say that it's a very unique journey for myself. Uh, to learning lesson each and every moment and uh, also leading life uh, for a bigger purpose, for a motivation, for inspiration, not for myself, for the, the full community, different level community and all the, all the people over there. I always try to reach out with my smile. So, yes, as Ravi said, uh, I have a problem, but because I always try to say my problems, much little smaller uh, comparative to my blessings and all the achievements. Uh, but yeah, the problem is quite serious because the disease is very rare. So uh, I don't know much of uh, many of you are not aware of or not. There are 7,000 rare diseases in all over the world. So hmm. osteogenesis imperfecta is uh, one of the rare diseases. And uh, that disease has no cure till today. Uh, and it because it happens when you have there is a uh, essence called uh, substance called collagen in the bone, which everybody is having. The, I am lacking that means I don't have collagen in my bones, and that because because of that my bones are very fragile. It's just like glass. So okay. it uh, that's why it also called as brittle bone disease. So why patients are nowadays you can see there are a lot of in India. But at the time when I was born, there were very, very few. My parents were not, nothing. They didn't uh, they know about uh, this uh, disease. There was no awareness. So uh, it was very tough for them to accept it. But the good news is that they never complained that I was born to them. But they accepted this challenge. Maybe that's why I'm today also very courageous and I always have a can-do attitude because of them. So they told, okay, if Sai has come to us, we also will become a special parents to nurture him. So from the first day itself, they are very proactive, very, uh, you know, they, they, 
didn't think twice to make me successful. From every angle, they have always tried me to make successful. So my parents and my younger brother, all of them were very much supportive. And they are the pioneer. I think uh, first I come, uh, people come to know about this disease in our native place. I belong to Siliguri, basically. The, it's a very beautiful place in the West Bengal, nearby Kolkata. So I belong to that place. So Siliguri come to know about this disease, I think uh, more from my parents, how they used to take care of me. And especially a young child like me trying to do a lot of things and getting frequent fracture very naturally. People around me uh, come to observe that, yeah, size is different. But it took me around five and a half years to uh, accept that, okay, yeah, I'm not like others. I'm mm -hmm. different. I'm special. But I don't know that I always was happy about it. I accepted it that, okay, I'm special. But, uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. Cool. Sai, uh, thanks a lot. I mean, you know, this, this is a very good introduction. And uh, friends, I would like to also take this opportunity to uh, introduce uh, our sponsors for today. Uh, Care System uh, Systems has uh, actually uh, come forward to sponsor this particular episode, uh, introducing Sai Costa to the rest of the friends. So Care Systems are uh, into firefighting and alarm systems. They actually do enterprise uh, door access controls uh, for, you know, IT companies. And uh, they were also into CCTV cameras, IP and, uh, you know, HD cameras. They're into intelligent uh, building management systems. They're also into security gates and controls. So I, I would share, uh, you know, the uh, details of this care systems here. And uh, thanks, care systems, for uh, sponsoring this particular episode. So, Sai, uh, so how, how did uh, your journey of becoming, uh, coming into the limelight happen? Uh, the, I don't know that it's limelight or not, but yeah, it's a positive light for sure yeah. for me. Uh, because this light is uh, making me shining more to the world. And uh, it's it's because I always try to be a beacon of hope for the people. Uh, especially mm -hmm. it's uh, in the society, people like us, they are the subject of sympathy, I should say. It's a very natural thing I'm saying that I should be very frank with your conversation that still today a lot of people are not aware of the PWDs, how to protect them, how to um, serve them well. So uh, that's why I wanted to become like, okay, let's become something uh, through which the my voice will come around and people will come to know. So this journey happened automatically. Like I started my journey in Siliguri. Uh, so mm -hmm. in my childhood, I was a dancer first. I... <laughs> used to dance. I was a Kathak uh, dancer. I, I got trained in that and had some stage performances. Uh, but uske baad, uh, you know, doctors uh, were very particular about my disease. They one day told my parents that uh, why there is nothing else that he can do. So my parents mm -hmm. told him dancing is in joy. He is very good in that. He actually my copy karta tha. So uh, whatever is in TV, I used to copy the steps very naturally. Okay. So my parents come to know that, okay, there is a the talent of dancing in me. So they would go to, okay, Sai, you can dance. But the doctors told me, it's, nahi, it's not, not possible. It is not his cup of tea. Can you suggest him to do something mm -hmm. else? So and then my parents told me that was around five and a half years, like six years, that Sai, let's do something else. Because as I was dancing, the frequent of the fractures were more frequent. Because the company of the dancer with me were also in my age. They were not aware of that, okay, size difference, so we need to do some extra protective. So nobody mm -hmm. then I thought, okay, let's do something else, but or kya hmm. Then uh, I uh, I found that my uh, home was actually was full of music. So it's a very uh, beautiful uh, atmosphere I got from my childhood that my Mother is a, a classical singer, so she used to mm -hmm. teach a uh, lot of students and she used to go for performances. So one day I discovered that, okay, I have tune in my, uh, it's a default software I got from God. So <laughs> I discovered that software inside me. Uh, so I started singing uh, with my mom and she was my first guru. Uh, mm -hmm. So she started uh, teaching me and then I found that it's a very beautiful tool 
through which I can very easily, you know, experience my emotions. Because uh, uh, dancing was something was very close to me. And if people do dance because they wanted to showcase their joy, sorrow, everything. So I was uh, searching for the tool and I got music and I grabbed it. I became a musician. Then there was no turning back. My fracture were one side, my uh, academic year, every one side, and then my music. So I became the best child singer of all West Bengal in 1999, 2000. Then I went to Kolkata to receive the this. That was my first break. That then uh, I come to uh, know about all the lot great people around us who can make me to be musician. Then also I got an opportunity, very golden opportunity to sing uh, in front of legendary artists of India like Anuradha Parwaji, Rashid Khan Saab, Manna mm -hmm. De, Anup Jaluta Ji, lot of people, Ajay Chakravarti, everyone. I, I got their blessings. I sang before them. And then my thinking was like, uh, okay, one day I'll go to Saragama Power, Indian Idol, or I'll become like Sriya Ghoshal or Ajit Singh. Because that was my perspective of thinking to become a playback singer. Uh, but you know that our life journey never allow us to do something which we think. So mm -hmm. I was focusing on the small puzzle of my life. But uh, so I, knew I was not seeing the big picture that time. Uh, I was singing and it was going good. But uh, 2002, I fell down in the bathroom. It was one of the fracture among more than 50 times fracture happened already with me. That was one of the fracture I'm talking now. Okay. I fell down in the bathroom and both of my legs got fractured together. And I was rushed to hospital. Something happened. I don't know. It's a incident or it's a mishap or something. Doctor made my uh, legs plaster as I'm sitting in the wheelchair. It always, you know, if you have, if you are aware of that, if anything happens in the leg, uh, plaster should be happen making the leg straight. Hmm. That's what you see. But they did my just plaster in the sitting position. So oh. that result happened after one and a half months. I found out that I could not able to stand it. So oh. my both leg got fixed up in that position, and that's the time I. Uh, I chose this throne. I always tell that wheelchair is my throne. So I chose this throne to sit. I I started sitting in my wheelchair. So yeah, so that was the that was the time I started feeling that okay, uh, maybe I will be not returning back to the normal life again. But what is the problem? I can see a lot of people in the wheelchair. Let this wheelchair be my lifeline and I will be happy. No issue. That was the time people generally makes me very down. But okay, I accepted that time also. I used to cry, but still okay. It's, it's okay. Uh, so after that, cutting the story start. Uh, cutting the story is like we, we came uh, to Andhra after three, four years. Because my parents found out that there is a hospital nearby us. It's a very specialty hospital where doctors are coming from outside and they can uh, make me a little bit more better. So that's the hope of light they saw. And all of us shifted to Andhra, a fully new place, new language, new food, everything. But I already told you, my parents can go anything. They can do anything for me. That's the angel-like parents I got. So they did, they sold their our house. They left their golden jobs my father was a photo journalist very em eminent photo journalist my mother also used to work as a teacher and all these things they left their job and we shifted into andhra this place now near bangalore so a new journey started again fractures were there my new study education everything but if i say about the limelight i was already enjoying a colorful light until 2009 when i found out one day that because of this frequent fracture it was actually my every joints were deformed because mm -hmm. the, uh, the point wherever the fracture is happening every joints every muscle of my body uh, deformation hota gaya. 
और 2009 में मैंने देखा कि आई एम नॉट एबल टू मूव माय बॉडी एट ऑल मैं व्हील चेयर में जाता था दैट वाज आल्सो नॉट पॉसिबल माय फादर कुड नॉट मेक मी लैप तो 2009 इज द फर्स्ट ईयर व्हेन आई फाउंड माय सेल्फ कॉन्फाइन इनटू ए फोर वर्ल्ड्स नॉट ओनली द फोर वर्ल्ड्स इनटू ए स्मॉल कॉट Okay. So only my, my now I am much much better, but at that time my neck was also not moving, my hands, my legs, my back, nothing was just like a doll. If you purchase a big doll, a doll of twenty four years, twenty two years doll like that, that was the, my condition. I used to uh, sleep. I used to use a backrest. My parents mm-hmm. used to feed me. Again, I used to sleep. That was my routine. There was nothing because I was studying. I had to discontinue my study. I used to go to music class. That was also discontinued. Uh, my uh, my life was discontinued from the world, step by step, part by part. So I I I was seeing that what actually the definition of suffering. I started seeing. Although I my uh, life started with suffering, I mm. used to get lot of fracture. But I made suffering as my friend. I never saw the black side, dark side of suffering. But that was the time started two thousand nine. That when this confinement started. Ah, so after that, what happened? That slowly, slowly, everything opened up. Ah, thus, I should say that the most uh, overwhelming and horrible moments for my life that when I used to uh, listen the crackers mm-hmm. outside early time, but I'm not able to go to the balcony to enjoy. so mm-hmm. you can imagine ravi that how the moment happened like i never accepted myself like that so i i told my parents what to do because i am i am i am realizing that size losing means um, mm-hmm. mujhe lag raha tha ki abhi to ho gaya the end hone wala hai mera story ka to 3 saal tak depression ka maine ekdam sahi chehra dekha but actually people nowadays it is a status that okay i am in depression but maine dekha sach mein ki But actually, it's called the depression. So three and a half years, तक बहुत depression, पूरा life black and white हो गया. There was nothing to talk about, nothing because every day I used to, uh, you know, to rule myself. मुझे मैं मेरे से ही पूछता था कि psychosis uh, was born in this world to see this life. It's not, it's not going to happen. So one day, I one day I found like that I was very much into depression. what you call the extreme then there is a voice i heard uh, the voice of my heart or voice of my soul or the voice of that super energy i don't know still yet but one voice i heard that it is not acceptable that you are losing you are the winner and you have to come up. because you are not here, here in this world for yourself lot of millions of people are waiting for you outside you are the inspiration you are the motivation so you have no right to lose so that was very strong and i was not able to accept that kahan se aaya kya hua then that moment started that okay mujhe bahar aana hi hai kuch bhi any could happen but i will come out uh, so i came out in 2015 finally because i got this wheelchair in 2015 uske beech uh, i started doing designing because i found out only graphic designing is only one option left with me jiske mai wo mera black and white canvas ko thoda color bhar sake so i started putting colors with my graphic designing but usme bhi aur ek interesting story hai because my body is like like a doll kuch bhi kaam nahi karta hai so i i thought how could i do design matlab hmm. mujhe computer hi nahi aata hai design to dur ki baat hai But then I found out okay, my one finger काम करता है एक left hand का one finger तो सबका तो दस finger काम करते हैं मेरे one finger ही है उसको ही tool बनाया I started holding my mouse and it was mm-hmm. not easy Ravi from this corner to that corner putting the cursor also it took ten minutes so mm-hmm. I thought okay this is a challenge for me and if I have to come out this challenge also I accept I have to accept so I I took this challenge. I took this barrier and broke it. I started learning computer in one year. I finished my diploma in computer. Okay. Then I started designing. Around one and two years, I became international designer. I started doing design for lot of MNCs. Two thousand fifteen, I wrote a book. 
बिकॉज आई वॉज आई आई वॉज फाइंडिंग दैट चलो अभी टाइम आ गया बिकॉज आई हैव टू गो आउटसाइड बट बट बिफोर गोइंग आउटसाइड वर्ल्ड शुड नो माई स्टोर सो अगर आप लाइम लाइट का बात करो तो लाइट स्टार्टेड बिकॉज दैट लाइट एक्चुअल आई शुड से ग्राफिक डिजाइनिंग वॉज द फर्स्ट लाइट आई गॉट थ्रू दैट वर्ल्ड कम टू नो अबाउट माई मैजिक magical one thing so then motivational start talks also started everything started means sai sai matlab kya hota hai ki hum log kabhi kabhi dekhte hai tv mein you know like durga jab maheshwar ko vadh karne ke liye aate hai so ek ek god hmm. unko pura coming outside as a teacher <laughs> why why did you choose uh, happiness uh, as you know one of the weapons or one of the tools to spread the message out happiness yes happiness i feel it's it's a one thing that um, most of the people have never tasted yet the real happiness i'm talking about so the moment i i came out of my room uh 2015 in the month of july in this new electrical wheelchair i found out that this is a new born baby mm-hmm. i am new sai costume and it's a new sky it's a new around nature and everything that that's the moment i found a real happiness uh, that happiness will not bring you if you buy an iphone it will not bring you if you have the subscription of netflix kuch bhi sahi real happiness nahi aayega but that happiness i was feeling inside me and i found out that i have to work on it i have to make people understand their what actually call a real happiness and uske baad maine dekha ki bahut sara challenge hai the world around us the society around us are very exclusive they are not ready to accept the happiness and the people who are happy the places are not accessible for me to go wheelchair because mm-hmm. at the time of confinement confinement i was not able to understand what is inclusivity what is inclusion diversity or accessibility kya hai kyunki i was not in a position to use wheelchair so i went outside i saw the people i met new people i i, I was trying to reach out to people that okay let's see the place what is the real condition of india and i was taken aback i was not understanding the why this why we are uh, not uh, taking as an important section of the community so that's the time i started working simultaneously on happiness and also accessibility and that uh, re- made me receive honorary doctorate from london university i got mm-hmm. after getting the doctorate there for researching on the accessibility and happiness both together so wow. after challenging with lot of things uh, around 4 years I was doing all this thing research and all. Then I became the India's only one different level happiness coach. I became certified. So <laughs> that was very big challenge because people are just like just now. I appreciate your smile, Ravi, because your smile is very cute. But people over there, <laughs> over there, smile to uh, unconditional. They smile to uh, you know get something from other. They smile because they were. they took a selfie they wanted uh, get likes and shares in instagram that's why they smile but i wanted to tell all of uh, the people who are listening that that is a conditional smile and that is not permanent you are that day you need a real happiness a real smile that yeah i think we lost you uh, for a few seconds But, yeah we... okay i was telling that i was te- now it is uh, now yeah, i'm coming you are audible yeah so i was telling from the morning to night people are running towards something and that something is actually the end of the day the happiness True. that they are getting but uh, actually by running they are postponing into this or that that okay today i'm not happy okay i will get something i'll become happy but only they are lacking that this happiness is not outside in some condition it is the inside stuff so we need to reinstall that software inside 
are a devote to that system. Cool. So uh, I have a couple of pictures which I stalked uh, from your profile side. So I also stalk men. So. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> this is uh, a very no. nice picture. So I wanted to, you know, ask you. So what? What was? What uh, was running in your mind when you took this picture? And actually, nothing was running in my mind. But coincidentally, whenever I go, I found some happy thing there. So I don't know that it 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 is a coincidence or it is something or it is my positive feeling or uh, my happiness, the power of happiness that attracts me. So mm -hmm. it is actually a lot of people say that wherever Sai comes in wheelchair, the place become happy. So I was very hungry. I it was in a it is in a mall in Bangalore, and I mm -hmm. I remember that actually I went to Bangalore for one interview with one um, talk show. Okay. So. Uh, so after that, I was very hungry because generally, if the talk show or interview or recording, because I'm an all India radio artist also, I was a regular artist. So if something happened, I'm not so uh, comfortable to have food before that unless it complete. So <laughs> my parents took me to this hotel, and suddenly I found happy seat. So I know there's again a coincidence happened that the said that food court is having the title happy seat. So I told my dad, okay, let's take a picture because Happy Singh is now having a happiness coach. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the story. Good one. So next picture. Uh... Ah, wow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes, sir. That's a very one of my favorite picture. You know, I think I still look like cute, right? The picture. <laughs> yes. you, you just look like that. I mean, there's nothing much changed. <laughs> but yeah, my face has become so big now. Uh, because it's a yeah, this is a, this is a picture. I think um, it's it's a, like around eight or nine years age. Mm -hmm. And I used to stand that time. I was okay. Means there are a lot of fractures used to happen, but every fracture used to cure okay. until that thousand two one. So this is one of uh, this is in our house in Siliguri. And I think it was taken by my father uh, for a passport kind of thing, means passport size picture. And so <laughs> it is there in the, and also uh, my father was a photographer, that's why. Uh, right. Maybe, yeah, that's a time when there was not much scope to take video, but hmm. uh, I don't have any scarcity of my childhood picture. A lot of pictures. Sir. Yeah, lot that's of pictures. I'm lucky to have uh, my father and mother and all of that's so why, why were you wearing? I mean, was it cold out there? I mean, the, the weather was cold during the photograph? Or? Yeah, yeah, okay. must be. Otherwise, you can see there is a woolen jacket, then mm. there is a sweater, and there is a t shirt, and inside also there is a round neck t shirt. So, four, mm. four things I'm yeah. wearing. And especially Siliguri, you know, I should say that Siliguri is a very beautiful place, but when there is a hot summer, it is a very hot summer, and when there is a winter around November, December, January, February, it's too cool. It's too much. So, what to wear. Yeah, because it's nearby Kanchenjunga. It is just only two to three hour journey to Darjeeling. Okay. So from our place, if the weather is good, you can see Kanchenjunga full, full mountain. It can be seen here. Oh. That's nice. And were you dancing? I mean, were you, were, did you already practice Patak uh, during this picture? I mean, at this age? During this picture, I already became a singer. This is the time eight to nine years. This is a picture when I I got uh, uh, Dishari. I think that that was the period I, this picture taken. That was already dance. So as my past, I am a singer at that time. I was yeah. a singer. So yeah, I used to go for a lot of performance even during Durga Puja. A morning, evening, whole day performance, and uh, my father used to carry me everywhere. That's superb. Yeah, we have another picture of yours. Maybe you can talk about this. Ah, yeah, that's that's the recent one. Recent means yeah, after I received Limka Book of Record. Uh, so before I talk about this uh, story, I should uh, tell about how I got Limka Book of Record. Mm -hmm. uh, like I started uh, using social media uh, when I, uh, I means after graphic designing, uh, I I thought okay let's talk with the people over the world because 
I am that I am talking about in the year 2014 or 13 that I started doing social media, and um, I found out that it is not very good that every time I uh, ask my parents to reply behalf of me if I am chatting with my friend. So I was thinking that how could I type because my hands are not reaching the keyboard. Mm -hmm. I was having a PC that time. Now I am having a laptop, but. I was having a PC and my hands are not reaching the keyboard. So every time one person say that have you, have you had your dinner, I have to ask my mom say yes on behalf mm -hmm. of me. So I found that it's not a good idea. I should I should type myself. Then I found out that there is in every system there is a keyboard called on screen keyboard or called a virtual keyboard. If right. you are having a Windows in accessory, there is a keyboard, and mm -hmm. if you are having a MacBook, there is also an option of virtual keyboard. So that keyboard you can operate with your mouse by clicking each and one thing, one letter with clicking the mouse. Yeah. yeah. So I started doing that, and the first chat like "Hello, how are you?" took some half an hour time for writing because holding the mouse from clicking H, then A, then L like that. But I thought, okay, this is not so tough. But my parents were thinking like, how how you can type like this? It took so much time. But said no. It's one of another barrier in my life. Let me break it also. So I started mm -hmm. typing, designing everything, and uh, then I got Limca Book of Record by typing the fastest time, twenty-eight words in fifty-two seconds. I broke Limca. I, I was a Limca Book Record holder, and uh, uh, along with that, I after I after that I got fifteen more world records from all over the world. Uh, so typing speed. I think Ravi you already have known. I have chatted with you in the Facebook. Yes. Yeah, that's what I was about to ask you. Yeah, was that you who was chatting with me? And <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I was chatting with you all the time with my one finger clicking in the virtual keyboard. So uh, sometimes whenever you are free, you can open that keyboard. It is every system is having that keyboard yeah, yeah, inside. Try, try clicking and see how speed, how much speed you have. So. Yeah, it's a very big challenge, but uh, I always try to tell people that challenge is a challenge when you actually seeing that is a challenge. If you have a mindset up to break that challenge, that that particular moment moment you get the solution over the problem. So my life's uh, main funda is to not to see it is challenge or problem. Try to see the other side and try to see the solution. And then you are the happiest person. You can get everything. You can do everything. Nothing is impossible. I completely agree with you. Yeah. So the Tribune, Tribune, it's the uh, main uh, paper published from Chandigarh, but it's a, hmm. it's a, all over India. It's a very famous. So all over India, Delhi, Mumbai, even Bangalore, every. Uh, a city metro city published our news so here are some of the uh, people they covered who got limca book of record wow. so then that's the story of this paper super super sorry. but we want to know some questions you know some things which other people are not aware of you know uh, so are you ready for some rapid fire questions yeah i saw that in the poster so <laughs> i don't know what what questions are coming up but Sai is always ready to do everything. Super. So what is the song you hear the most? I uh, love to see, uh, listen most Shreya Goshal song. Shreya Goshal. Big, yeah, big fan of her. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so are you stalking her? <laughs> you can see, you can see that. I, I, that's not, that's, that's, that's because uh, she is actually following me in the Twitter and she retweeted my cover, cover song. So <laughs> that's not yeah. the reason. Yeah, she has yeah. retweeted my cover song and after that it got million of views. I because yeah. singing is still with me. I am a musician still. So I have composed more than two hundred songs. Uh, so I did the cover song of Dharak, title mm -hmm. song, and she retweeted with lot of big message and so you can say the vice versa. Both are stalking each other. Okay. <laughs> Very cute. 
So, uh, what is that one thing you're really proud of? You know, what is that one thing with all this limitations you've done for somebody else, which you're really proud of? I am really proud of my parents and brother. Everything can come and go, but uh, in this life, I only got one parents, means my father and mother and younger brother, Kushal. Uh, my brother, younger brother, he's a, you will uh, uh, feel amazed. He's a Guinness Book of Record holder. So he inspired from me and did. So uh, he is also a very multi-talented person. My brother Kushal, he's nine years younger than me. He's also a filmmaker. So, uh, okay. So, but actually I should tell that, you know, that the moment of proud, the moment of pride comes when you see that your parents are happy that their child is going good or becoming successful. But because a lot of parents at, uh, in the society, the PWD, special children's parents, they are not finding enough strength or I, I always tell support. Support system is not there for them to realize or understand that their children also can be in the limelight. True. They had they had no nothing in, uh, in their mind. But my parents always uh, um, put a, go, a green signal before me. You want to become a singer? Okay, go ahead. You become want to become a designer? Go ahead. You want to uh, try fashion? Go ahead. The, the dress I'm wearing now, it's designed by me, especially where I'm wearing. That also, they say, okay, you become a disabled fashion designer, okay, do it. So that's why I'm much proud of that, okay. My parents, uh, and that is why, why I'm today talking with you. Other, otherwise, no costume, no size, nothing is there. They made me what I have to do. Cool. So we have a request from audience. My wife is asking, can you sing a song uh, for us? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, surely. I always love to sing. Whenever I work, sometime in between, I pause and I sing for myself because people mm -hmm. listen podcast and Ghana.com and all this thing, no, Savan.com. But all this thing for myself is all my voice. So I listen to myself. So I would like to uh, sing that cover song, a small portion, where uh, that Shreya Goshalji, uh, she has retweeted. Uh, I would like to sing that uh, some portion. It's from the movie Dharak. Babul ke gale Aho chhor ke Tere hele Laonge peya Sola saile ke Savan jor ke Pyaar se tha mera Dor bari ke hai Saat jen mo ke ye Pahle taare ke hai Dor ka mein ek sira Aur tera hai dousra दूर सके बीच में कई तरफ है जो मेरे मंजिलों को तेरे नाम के तेरे नाम के कोई धरक है ना तेरे नाम के कोई धरक है ना सुपर आई आई रियली लव द वे यू आर लाइक सो एंग्रोस्ड इन यू नो सिंगिंग दिल से या सुपर थैंक यू रवि थैंक यू दैट इज वन ऑफ द माय फेवरेट सॉन्ग and I love to sing because I feel, because I, now I'm talking with you, there is still pain happening because my back and everything mm -hmm. is fixed. But that is the thing that uh, singing is the most wonderful, powerful tool to heal my pain. So I think that's why that I should not concentrate on the pain because I'm, I'm gaining a lot of things from my music. So we have some compliments rolling in while you were singing. So... <laughs> <laughs> so uh, 
what what is the uh, what, what is your favorite book uh, that you know uh, not now but you know while you were growing up that has really inspired you yeah the first answer is that my favorite most favorite book is mine only what i wrote <laughs> my my book name is my life my love my dear swami that i also mm-hmm. wrote with virtual keyboard with one finger oh. and around um, three months i completed typing the whole book and it this book also i sent it to our prime minister of india modi ji and he liked it he sent a reply letter mm-hmm. from prime minister house and the book also had translated into 10 languages in india wow. so that is my most favorite book because it's my life uh, and but if if i say about the next next one i really loved uh, reading lot of uh, you know uh, the amar chitra katha kind of things uh, mm-hmm. the where you can the subtle um, message at there and uh, one of my favorite book is autobiography of a yogi Uh, because uh, another side of mine is a little bit spiritual so far yeah i like spirituality a lot and i really believe in that because uh, to make you successful one is you need to contribute to spirituality so any kind of spirituality because it's not that you have to go to altar and you have to worship god uh, it is the thing that is your way of living so i i believe that spirituality is nothing but a way of your living how your pure mind and pure soul directing you towards your uh, goal or the destiny so i wrote i sorry i read uh, autobiography of a yogi written by paramahamsa yogananda and it, it simply touched my life that one simple man became a celebrity spiritual celebrity all over the decade and how simply he wrote simple uh, miracles which we don't believe and after reading that i found out the very simple formula of miracles that it actually happens with your life only when you allow it to happen so it is not something that happens uh, out of the blue miracles can happen in your life only when you allow so i allowed my life to go through miracles and today that's why ravian sai is talking <laughs> <laughs> so coming to the next question matlab bachpan i mean let's go back uh, to those days you know you you been singing and all that but musti bhi ki hogi so what what are the weird stuff you know not notorious stuff you've done you know you still remember and you you remember them and uh, laugh about ah uh, there lot of i did it is not that yeah i born with this disease that doesn't mean that i am not a very dull boy or i always love to meet people i always love to do some dance or the so hai to main abhi bhi natkhati hu thoda mujhe acha lagta hai aise bhi i i don't know much uh, yeah there are a lot of things but one incident i remember that, that i used to actually uh, help other students in their subject hmm. so that was not a very good thing our teacher is to entertain uh, that okay sai you do your only you don't have to help other but mera ho jane ke baad main baki ka kar deta tha help इसलिए एक बार मुझे टीचर से एकदम पूरा हाथ के ऊपर बोले कि आई विल बीट यू स्लोली डोंट माइंड साइड बट तूने तो मुझे मारना ही है नहीं तो आप हेल्प करते रहो एंड आल्सो आई यूज टू रिमेंबर दैट आफ्टर माय होमवर्क और क्लास वर्क व्हेन देयर इज इनफ टाइम इन स्कूल आई यूज टू मेक फैंस आउट ऑफ द यू नो टेक्स्ट बुक पेपर थ्री थ्री पेजेस आई यूज टू टियर एंड यूज टू मेक फैंस एंड गिफ्ट टू all my other students especially the people especially all the girl student used to they used to laugh very much if i can make a fan for me so i used to you know stapler se usko jod ke fan bana ke deta tha uh, and you know a lot of people uh, lot of other interviews they used to say that okay aap ladkiyon ke sath baithne ko aapko acha lagta tha aisa but actually uh, the reason i used to sit with them because they were very calm and quiet मुझे डर था अगर मैं लड़कों के साथ बैठू तो वो ऐसा घुसा मारेंगे कि इमीडिएट फ्रैक्चर तो इसलिए मैं बैठता था उन लोगों के साथ और बैठने के लिए थोड़ा कुछ करना पड़ता है आई टू मेक फैंस एंड ऑल विद माय नोटबुक्स लाइक दिस टू डू वो तो बहुत कुछ चलता था एंड टिल नाउ आई ऑलवेज लेग पुल माई पुल माई ब्रदर्स लेग माई फादर मदर्स लेग एंड मुझे अच्छा लगता है 
memorable Uh, we used to play those games where uh, you had words. Uh, I don't know what is it called. Us to ऐसे मतलब flower के तरह lotus flower के तरह बनाते थे. But right, uh, right, right, yeah, in the hands के अंदर उसको हाँ हाँ. उसको बहुत सारे बहुत सारे बहुत सारे. Yes, yes, we used to make same also. But मेरा memorable thing है कि because I was not so able to go out and play cricket and football. Because वो तो मतलब you know this is a very strict no for that. एक बार एक फुटबॉल आके मेरे को लगा तो स्पॉट वहां पर ही फ्रैक्चर द नेक्स्ट सीन माय पेरेंट्स आर कमिंग एंड पुट मी टू हॉस्पिटल अगेन मतलब सोसाइटी सोसाइटी हमारा जो नेवरहुड मम्मी पापा का तो बाय हार्ट हो गया था एक शाउट साई का चिल्लाना बस हो गया फ्रैक्चर चलो उनको लेके और डॉक्टर्स को भी प्रैक्टिस हो गया था दूर से देखते से साई आ रहा है मतलब फिर से फ्रैक्चर एक्सरे ठीक करो सो so, ऐसा था मेरा बचपन बट एवरी टाइम आई यूज टू गेट नो फ्रॉम आउटसाइड मैं अंदर आउट इन साइड गेम ज्यादा खेलता था एंड थोड़ा लाइक आई यूज टू हैव लॉट ऑफ बारबी डॉल्स एंड ऑल यूज टू मेकअप देम सो उसको लेके खेलना एंड थोड़ा आई यूज टू बी फॉन्ड ऑफ गॉड एंड गॉड इज इज डॉल सो रामा सीता का मैरिज करवाना फिर हनुमान को उसके पीछे डॉल लाइक लगा देना फिर बड़ा बड़ा कुछ मतलब लाइक बॉक्सेस नो लाइक शू बॉक्सेस उसको मैं उसके अंदर सब ठीक ठाक करके छोटा सा एक किचन बनाना फिर मम्मी पापा को चाय भी बना के खिलाना दैट्स व्हाट आई यूज टू डू विद माय ओन एंड आई यूज टू डू लॉट ऑफ ड्राइंग्स आल्सो आई वाज अ वेरी गुड मैं अभी तो हाथ के वजह से मैं मतलब आई एम नाउ अ डिजाइनर इन माय स्क्रीन बट आई यूज टू डिजाइन वन टाइम विद माय हैंड आल्सो वेरी सो लाइफ वाज वेरी कलरफुल आई शुड से मतलब एक बहुत बड़ा साइड था मेरा फ्रैक्चर बस उसको छुपाने के लिए मम्मी पापा और मैं बहुत कुछ करता था मतलब छुपाने के मतलब आई वी नेवर यूज टू एंटरटेन कि लोग आए फिर से अगेन दे आर पुलिंग माय मींस सिंपैथेटिकल साइड अरे फिर से लग गया फिर से फ्रैक्चर हो गया तो उसको थोड़ा कम करने के लिए माय पेरेंट्स वेंट विथ मी लॉट ऑफ प्लेसेस इन इंडिया बहुत कुछ किया हम लोगों ने अभी तो कुशल है माय ब्रदर He is now my most uh, friend. मेरा entertain करते रहता है. He makes my video in YouTube. So है सब कुछ. Cool. So what makes you smile? What makes me smile? Ah, uh, that is I don't know what makes me smile because. it's a it's a question it's a it's a it's a question which i feel that i don't actually put an effort to smile hmm. ye to jaisa windows ke sir microsoft word software pehle se install ho ke aata hai mera jab janm hua to i i think i got the default software with me to smile because that is the something which my teacher and my relatives also used to talk talk about ki sai were having lot of fracture means There is a 50 times fracture more than means 50 that I count. Kia after 50 I stopped counting because I was feeling like if I count my fracture or pain I'm not going to get anything because mm. this disease has mostly broke my body but I never allowed this disease to break my heart. So my heart is very strong to accept. So I always found that कुछ भी हो जाए life मेरा body में but मेरा smile कभी भी फीका नहीं पड़ना चाहिए सो आई एडोर माई स्माइल एंड आई एम फेमस फॉर माई स्माइल वो आई वुड लाइक टू कैरी दिस विथ माई लास्ट ब्रीथ तो लेट दिस स्माइल मोटिवेट मिलियंस एंड उसका बहुत स्टोरी है मतलब मेरा स्माइल देख के बहुत लोगों ने बहुत लाइफ का टर्न ओवर हुआ है वन इंटरव्यू पॉन्डिचरी वन पीपल आर्ट में देर इज एनी प्रोडक्ट विथ योर स्माइल आई से नो नॉट येट इतना भी मत जाओ तो actually this smile ek din mein nahi aaya hai it's like all i am not 20 or 9 years so 29 years of journey was 
not a big deal. Carrying an osteogenesis imperfecta along with me and then doing this multiple thing and at the end of the day being a happy person. It's a very difficult, but trying, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. So I, I mean, I'm almost done with uh, my questions because you answered some of the questions, uh, you know, during your discussion itself. Uh, but in seeing your profile, I wanted to ask you, um, so you're, you're, uh, you posted a lot of pictures of uh, Sri Satya Sai Baba. Uh, and, you know, you're right now, you know, most of the time you spend in Puttapati. So uh, did you get a chance to meet him in person? Yes, yes, absolutely. I not only met him, I sang before him. I yeah. talked with him and uh, yeah, because you asked the question, I'm so happy about it that very rarely people ask about it. But um, it is also one of the very most important reason that today I'm talking with you. So he has been the inner power of me from my childhood. So we are actually um, uh, my, uh, you know, I, in my syllabus only we come to know about him. And from that time, the journey started. And so I am like the, his child. And he is always with me. I don't call him guru or I don't call him God or something. He is my best friend. And he is not now in body, but I never felt he has left this world. So uh, if time permits, I would like to say a very small incident. You can uh, take it as a miracle. You can, you, you can take it as something supernatural. Or, but for me, it is a life-changing experiment. 2006, I started growing a pain in my right thigh. Mm -hmm. And uh, the pain was so severe that uh, it was not curable with the painkiller. And because I am having a brittle bone disease, so my parents are like half doctor. They know how to treat any fracture patient in anyone. So they did everything, but the pain was not curable. It was gay. It was very much stronger by day, day by day. Then we went to hospital here in my place. We live actually, the place is Puttaparthi, where his main ashram is there. So Bangalore is my our near metro city. So um, we went to the hospital here. There are also doctors who are not answerable that why this pain is happening. So they sent it sent it to me to Med Ma Ramaya Medical College in Bangalore. So there one uh, doctor called Dr. Sundaresh. He, uh, he told, okay, you come and I will see what is the pain. Because they knew that if fracture is happening, that the pain will come, but there is no fracture, nothing, why the pain is there. So I went to medical college and he observed me for a couple of hours and he told me to do some x-rays. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know that how much x-rays you have gone through. That was one day in a, uh, I have gone through 32 x-rays. So 32 x-rays uh, without any having any cloth. I was shivering in the x-ray room in the cold. Uh, then they said, still we are not finding it, the root cause of the pain. Let's do a biopsy. So, um, uh, biopsy kya unhone, but kuch nahi aaya achche se. Then they said, CT scan karna hai. CT scan also they did. And at the end of the day, I was feeling so tired. I was like broken. Or kuch karna hai, mujhe abhi ghar jana hai. But uh, they said that actually we are feeling like there is something in your thigh. But we are not getting what is that. But that's mm. why you have to stay today. To, tomorrow you will do a CT biopsy. CT biopsy, they will make me to inside the CT scan. And in that CT scan, they will see some exact position of the pain. And then they will do the biopsy to make out the, uh, come out the root cause of my pain. So, again, I was not agreed, but no option. I uh, stayed one night. Next day, um, I was thinking, Ki kya hoga? Matlab, I was just praying to Satya Sai Baba and I know a lot of, you know, I told already spirituality. I know Hanuman Chalisa and also I was chanting all that. Please make me come out of it. Because, you know, I am very familiar of the pain. Hmm. Because I have gone through pain. Like pain is just like nothing. It's it's a part of my life. But that pain was very, I mean, it's, it's a very unique kind of pain. So I was I was figuring, my mind was telling that it's not, not a good thing. So it is something wrong in my thigh. So I went to City Biopsy and they said that, um, okay, you have to wait. You have to wait for the result. Uh, but uh, we can give you some what is happening. Wait for some couple of hours. So I was waiting with my parents. And after some time, uh, they called my parents inside. They consulted something. 
uh, I was not aware of what they consulted. Then they told, okay, let's go. I am not able to stay one much more. So we came back our place and they said 72 hours it will take to <laughs> come uh, to the report. So uh, uh, my parents were behaving normally, but I was figuring out something happened. My father went to, here is a Ganesh Mandir uh, in our place, ashram. It's a very uh, beautiful place. So he went there and prayed. And I was not figuring why he's praying like that. Something has happened, you know, that I was uh, asking them, but they're not telling me. Something has happened. Uh, but I then forced them, and what is happening? So they finally told, no, there is actually doctor told nothing. Very good. They said that how much you can serve your child, sir. They found out something bad. So they were not very clear to me, but I was enough mature to understand something is very bad. So then 72 hours were like, you can imagine what happened to our family. No, no lunch, no dinner, and it's very waiting for the report. 72 hours beat, yeah, uske baad report nahi hai. And my father called them up. They said, no, if we have to wait, uh, then he uh, said, how much time more? Or one, two days. I said, 11 days, they made us to wait. 11 okay. days, there's no report. Finally, after 11 days, my father was busted out. He called them up and he was so rude that why it's a medical college, it's an international place. Why such, uh, because we are in the position you can't understand. My child is going through very big trauma. So they said, no, sir, please, uh, report. Uh, so he said, why such delay? Well, there was a big confusion happened for the first time in here. So that's why we sent a report to Delhi also. So that's why we are sorry for the inconvenience. So Papa ne bola, abhi mere paas time nahi hai, abhi fax kar do aap log. Tab maine mami se puchha ki kya hua exactly ab batao mujhe. So they said, the mami said, matlab my parents said that they found out a malignant cell in my thigh, thigh which okay. was supposed to be a cancer cell. And mm -hmm. uh, that time my doctors told my parents ki aap jitna ho sake sai ko saath karo, jitna pyaar se ho. Because we don't know ki sai kitne din rahenge is dharti par. So... I come to know about that and uh, I was, till that also, I was not feeling so down. I said, 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 I no problem. So, but uh, my father got the report in facts. There was no, no mention of the malignant uh, cancer. There was no mention of the tumor also. Actually, there was a tumor that causes my pain. Kuch okay. nahi tha, to, uh, Papa ne next bus pakra or he uh, went to the hospital. He went straightly like, you know, Rajdhani Express to that doctor who actually was seeing me. Doctor ko papa ne puchha ki tumor kaha gya, malignant cell kaha gya, to report me kuch bhi nahi hai, negative paise ya. Thousand question papa asked. Doctor hai, unho ne papa ke shoulder pe haat rakha ar bola, only two things he said, God knows. So that was doctor's reply. He said, God knows, we don't know. That's why the confusion happened because we found out there's a malignant cell in the biopsy. That's why I did CT scan. There also we found there's a tumor. Everything is there. You can see in the report. They took a picture of my tumor also. Everything is there, but after the final biopsy, they're not finding the tumor. If there is no tumor, there is no malignant cell. So I found that, that yeah, it's upar wala ka kuch to big picture tha ki there is a purpose in this world for me to get again. Actually, unko pata tha ki Ravi ke saath baat karna hai aaj. That's why I'm still alive. Yeah, he knows. He knows how to pull some papers out from the files and. <laughs> yes, and unko thoda uh, matlab, uh, change kar dena to. That is all. Everything happened. That's why I am a very firm believer of, uh, you know, that we should not concentrate on the small puzzle of life. There are a lot of problems. Matlab, I am having osteogenesis imperfecta. I don't know how much I am in Because she was with that documentary time. So a lot of problems are there. But we still have a big picture. We still have a big dream. We still have a big purpose to focus on. So if you don't open it, you can see the big picture. If you don't open it, you can see the big picture. Think big. Cool. 
really nice. I mean, I, I also believe in miracles. There are a lot of times I've come across uh, situations where, you know, technically it's not possible and, you know, only miracle would have saved me. So I really get that. And thanks for that. I mean, I, I really wanted to know because uh, I've also heard a lot of good things about uh, Sri Sathya Sai Baba. Uh, my brother is a very uh, close disciple of him and, you know, he visits uh, Puttaparthi, you know, every year and uh, the entire family stays there for a week, serves it. My oh, wife's okay. cousins, they're there in Boston. They also try to do a lot of stuff, uh, you know, for cancer patients. They, you know, uh, they stitch woolen, you know, caps for right. them. And, you know, right, actually, that's why the uh, Satya Sai Baba used to do a lot of miracles. That is a fact. You can see a lot of videos, but his biggest miracles is to do for the mankind. He is running a super specialty hospital in all these places, full free of cost water, and from uh, what, plus one to PhD, full free education for the students. That's more than that, what we can expect in this age. That That's the biggest miracle, I believe. So we have to believe in that. Yeah, he's created that aura where, you know, he's motivated people, lots of people who are doing something for the society. That, that's, I think, uh, the biggest achievement. Yes, yes, absolutely. So, Sai, the final question, you know. I ready to make up. So, when you become the chief minister for four years, what are the areas you would focus on? Ah, uh, yeah, actually, I I don't know that uh, in this life, I really would like to, to become a CM or not, because as a good possibility, ha, but you know, I went to Mumbai for a Batra company, Batra Prize. I got a People's mm -hmm. Choice Award in Mumbai. There are a lot of people came to stage and say, mm -hmm. to politics mein la, a, chahiye. Aap itna baat karte ho. Mm -hmm. I said, I don't have any plan for that. But yeah, if I became CM, uh, first of all, I would like to see a society uh, where everything is inclusive, uh, without any discrimination, people love to work for the sake of work, not only for the money. Aajkal hum log dekhte ke people are working only the sake of money for the end of the day. But you have to uh, work for uh, what you love from your heart. That's the thing and without discrimination, like we the people, uh, disabled community, LGBTQ community, all people, are in this society, everything should come as equal, the, the way of equality. And also, as a CMI, because I'm in wheelchair, so it's very naturally, I'll be working a lot of things for the PWDs. Like, uh, for my state, I have seen the road communications are still very bad condition. For people like us, road should be very good. Otherwise, it's not possible for us to go out with a wheelchair. And we also can't expect to be like America. We are still back ahead of America and Australia and all these places uh, because a lot of my uh, friends are there. They used to do video call and they used to show me the places. So I really would like to make India a wheelchair friendly country. And there is a lot of uh, different kind of visibility which need to be taken care. Like for people like us, Australia is imperfect. It's a very big challenge to travel in the flight here yeah. mm -hmm. because you have to shift into a normal wheelchair. Then from normal wheelchair to the small wheelchair inside the cabin, and then they will make you to shift the chair in the seat. So in it never shift can take a time, which is very natural for us to get a fracture. So it's okay. not a very easy way. That's why there are a lot of people who call me from Western countries for motivational talk. I have to say no. So I said let's do virtually. I also would love to go out and see the other countries myself and see the accessibility condition there. But this is a very big problem. I, I wrote once in LinkedIn, Twitter about all these people who are in the uh, concern authority that why not we are allowed to sit in our wheelchair. Make us make our wheelchair in the corner of the uh, flight and lock it with, this, with the ground. So then there is no problem because shifting us is a very big challenge. So, yeah, like I have on my car that is fully customized. So I travel all over the India with my car, except the North, North India, like Delhi. I have not visited yet. But all the South India, Mumbai, Gujarat, I went up to Somnath also with my car. So it's a very good car. Like the, in the wheelchair, they get a lock system. So car is not wheelchair. So this is uh, car possible. Why not in the flight? 
it is only that people need to be little bit extra out of the box thinking jo matlab main jo dekh raha ki india mein jo kuch ho raha hai sab kuch jaisa ho raha hai waisa hi ho raha hai people are not ready to think out of the box so if i become cm i will try to do this thing and last and not the least one thing i would like to do that if there is any advisory board for the disability any meeting is happen anything for the pwd i should make sure that uh, one person pwd should be there in the advisory board otherwise it is not possible to understand the pain and the problem and the adversity aksar hum log dekhte hai ki jo advisory board rehta hai jab the minister of disability empowerment wo wo disabled nahi hai to unko kaise pata chalega ki hum log kaun sa problem yeah so he, he is not able to make out that what is the adversity we are facing outside society or in the road or in the public places lot of public places are not still accessible or kabhi kabhi to aisa ramp banata kya pata nahi you want to matlab aap wahan se khade ho ke nahi ja sakoge so it's like first thing i should say that um, a full advisory board or the meetings in the ministry level in the, there should be a person Uh, who is actually challenged means challenged hai unka pwd any kind of uh, like blind ka agar kuch kar rahe ho to blind rahe agar wheelchair wale ka kuch kar rahe ho wheelchair person should be included so that's a bigger prospect of inclusion include us also to make this uh, india going more shining ahead it is that we are the people who are into limited edition and we don't know that how long we are in this world so give us at least a platform आप लोग ऑलरेडी कर रहे हो हमें भी एक मौका मिले एंड इंडिया को आगे बढ़ाए सो आई विल डू ऑल दिस थिंग आई ट्राई इंडिया ए वेरी वंडरफुल फ्यूचर कंट्री इफ आई बी कैम वन सी Thank you, thank you, Sai. And those are very insightful uh, things. I think Diva Kiran has also been agreeing with it. Uh, inclusive society, no discrimination. Yes, so, yes. Thanks a lot. I mean, I have no words uh, thanking you for taking time for this particular interview, uh, making it possible, and uh, making all of us uh, realize that uh, there are no limitations. All, all uh, the limitations are just in our head. So. Yes, thank yes. you there is no limitation there is no limitation unless you limit yourself so think big dream big and uh, i really uh, specially thank you because you are doing it such a great live conversation in a time of covid 19 situation when people are very into panic that kaise ghar mein rahu aise ghar mein raho ravi ke sath baat karo aur chill raho thank you <laughs> love that smile and i'll keep following friends do follow uh, Sai, uh, he's very yeah. active in social media. And uh, all are welcome to my virtual community, Happiness Unlimited. I have a virtual community in Facebook, so all are welcome. Only in one condition: if you are ready to smile like me, so always yeah. welcome. <laughs> and yeah, thank you. Thank you so thanks much. Thanks a lot, Sai. Have a great evening, friends, and uh, thanks to Care Systems for sponsoring this uh, uh, really nice conversation with Sai. I will definitely spread this across. Uh, I didn't know about Sai, and uh, you know, I think I give the credit to this particular show uh, due to which I could meet him. I will personally meet you, Sai, when whenever uh, you know all these things settle down. We yes, will meet sure. at Kutu Kanti, and I really want to release that particular moment with my brother, my cousin. Always welcome, sir. It's a very beautiful place, Ravi. So always welcome with your family, with your two kids. Uh, yes. Please come over here, and it's a very beautiful place. It's a just like small place, but everything will get her. So always welcome, and uh, I really would like to thank all the people who have commented with so much love. Thanks for your love, and keep inspiring Sai. And remember, Sai smile. That's a tool for you also in your downtime. Thank you. Thank you, Sai. Thank you, friends. Thanks for joining in. Have a great day ahead.